You've probably heard about the mod Create. I certainly have, and it's basically a technology mod, except that it doesn't quite work like other industrial mods. You see, first off, normal industrial mods, like if we take thermal expansion or mechanism, they work off of a single block. You add power, you add items, and then that one block does that one thing. Not with Create. With Create, you make contraptions, and even if it is just one thing you want to do, like mixing or crushing, you need to have multiple setups and it, it's just a lot more to it and in-world interactions. Like this, for example, is a mixer. If I wanted to do anything with it, I would need the mixer on top, a basin in here. And then as you can see, there's a cogwheel. And that is because Create does not use power, at least not RF. It uses rotational force, which you would get from either a water wheel or a steam generator or a windmill. So if we add the water wheel here and add a water there and then remove that, boom, we're making rotational force. That rotational force can then be taken out using something something like a shaft and then you can connect it to something like a cogwheel and then eventually you can connect it up to this like if i were to take a couple of gearboxes to redirect this over just like that it is now running the mixer, however, at a very slow pace. But that's another thing. Usually you just have rest of flux or RF, and then that's it. But with Create, you have two different things to think about. You have SU, which is stress units, but then you also have the speed. So as you can see here, we have a speed of 8 RPM. And if we take the stressometer, we are put, uh, have a remaining of 224 SU, because this is taking up 32 SU at this current speed. And then if you want to increase the amount of VSU we are actually producing. We can go ahead and add a, another water wheel. If I just get a, another water bucket, if I could spell, that would also help uh, a little bit. And just like that, we have increased our SU. However, not the speed. Another way of generating SU instead of water wheels is, for example, a wind turbine. However, also extremely slow. And here comes the really, really fun part, which I really, really love. And that is the car wheels. You have two different kinds. We have a big one, and then we have a small one. And here here comes the magic. If you take this, well, actually, if we take the speedometer real quick and take a look at this, we're running at 8 RPM. However, if we take the large cogwheel and then combine a small cogwheel and then check the speed of that, we're now at 16. And if we just went ahead and did something like this and then added a large cogwheel to that and then another small one, you will see that we have increased again to 32. And if we then took that and led it over to this thing, you will see that it is now spinning a lot faster. This is essentially create and I just saw the calls. <laughs> Not your typical RF styled uh, industrial mod, but this is really just the basics. Create is all about automating things. And automation could be something like this. Adding dyes to the basin will cause the mixer to go down, mix, mix, mix the red dye with the blue dye, and then eventually we will get, boom, we will get the purple dye. So create is really all about automation and doing stuff with this, and it's cool. Basically what I want to do in this video, I know it was a little bit of a long introduction, but basically what I want to do in this video is to fiddle around with Create and, and learn. I've seen a video from the Jojo the Awesome, hopefully I'm pronouncing it right, where I've gotten the fundamentals of Create down and I have played with Create before, but I want to play around with it even more because this is just how you create the rotational force. There are a ton of farms which you can actually make. So let's get to playing. Now this cliff right here looks like a decent spot to put down a potential tree farm and I saw the Jojo uh, the Awesome set up a tree farm and I I kind of want to try and replicate it to try and understand things better. One thing about create as well, if you don't know how to use a specific block, you can just hold down W by default and it will actually show this interface showing you how this actually works. Like that is super, super cool. Like look at this, it just showed us how to add those uh, blocks together and then rotation, etc. So I think I should be able to do this maybe. I'm gonna get a mechanical bearing. I'm also going to get some andesite casings just because they look nice. And I want to make a tree farm again. So I want mechanical saws and I want ployer. I also want a chest and I think I'm going to be needing some glue and there should be a creative, yes, creative motor just so we can actually do things without having to set up a water wheel. So create a motor, mechanical bearing, and then I should basically be able to start working with this just like that. It is rotating. Cool. So if I just add some things like this, essentially right clicking this is not working, but I believe 
believe that is because we need to glue this entire thing together. And now this thing is basically moving and yeah, this could be a fun mini game. I don't know what this will do to me if I was in survival, but I'm in creative, so I'm, I'm immune. So this should basically chop, <laughs> this should basically chop down any of the trees in the way. And we would want to actually place down saplings afterwards. So that would be from that. And again, we need to actually glue this together again. And I believe this should work. Nope, it is not because I missed a fundamental part of gluing this thing together just like that. Now the entire thing should Nope. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And then a chest to be able to add this to. So adding that like that should do the trick. Yep. Now in the video I saw oak saplings were used. I'm gonna try jungle sap. No, no. I'm gonna try spruce saplings just because. I'm going to add it in the filter here just so it doesn't add a bunch of blocks. By accident, add the saplings in here. And clicking this should. Yep. Place the saplings down. And if I were to get a bone meal, this this was actually way easier than I thought it would be. Can I potentially lower? Uh, that's too fast. Let's do 32. Nope, that's still too fast. I'm gonna do eight in speed. I feel like that is a little bit more manageable. And if I just then went ahead and grew one of these trees. Wow, it's taking a sweet time. There we go. Okay, yeah, I didn't see that coming, but that's fine. Let's see what now happens. If all goes according to plan, the machine should stop, chop down the wood very slowly, and I don't know if it actually will work for the one of these big trees. If it will actually take down the entire tree. I assume it, it actually just did and it will replant everything and we can actually open the inventory while it's spinning. That's awesome. And then we have the wood and then it places down the saplings that it actually gets from it. Wow. Okay, this was actually very easy to set up. This might not be ideal that I'm stopping it, but in an ideal world, you wouldn't be stopping it whatsoever. So let's say I had that in a survival world and I had, let's say, let's say I had had a couple of water wheels yeah let's say I had one of these maybe sitting right here and some and some stuff here and I get some water and it goes in this direction generating some rotational force then I should be able to drag that rotational force over to my tree farm using shafts and gearboxes I should be able to do this and a bunch of these now I do need to send the signal downwards and then I need to send it that way and then I can do it like this and it is actually working off of the this one water wheel. Now again, if I wanted to increase the speed of this, I would maybe make a little bit more room here. And then I would go ahead and take a small cog wheel and a large cog wheel add a large one here and then a small one, then I would take maybe a casing. And the reason why I'm placing a casing here is because if you have this here and then try and place a small one, it, it'll break because obviously it can't connect to that and also rotate there. So add that and then add this there that would of course increase then the speed like that, making it go even faster. Now, if I didn't do it with this large cock wheel, what happens if I did it with a small water cock wheel? I assume it's going to be pretty much the same, except that the water is going to mess everything up. Nope, it basically does it just fine. That's neat. And you can also do that when it comes to farms, I believe. Yep, we have the mechanical harvester. Ooh, mechanical arm. Okay, I do kind of want to play around with the mechanical arm, actually, because we also do have belts. And if I take right, if I take some anthracite funnels and I go ahead and get some chests, and let's say I made a little bit of thing here. So let's say I have a double chest there with some stuff from a mining trip. Maybe that gets set up with a minecart or something. Then I go ahead and set up some layer belts like that. And if I were to just place a chest here together with an anthracite funnel, placing any items in here should get transported. Uh. Of course, this requires rotational force, so things like that. There we go. Now, if I just stop it right there, let's say I end it like that, so the item doesn't actually pop off. Then I set another. This is just purely for experimentation purposes. And I go ahead and set this up, and I place uh, a chest here with another funnel leading into it. So we have another mechanical belt leading into it, like that. Also connected up to a motor, of course. Now, if we have a mechanical arm, I'm pretty sure we just right-click 
click this, take item from, okay, so hold on, take items from this and then place there. And I place the arm here. And then we of course need to go ahead and power this thing. Again, we will need a cogwheel. I assume a small one is going to do the trick. Yes, but maybe it cannot reach. Oh, it's just very slow. There we go. It took an item and it's actually placing another, another, another thing. Yep, it is. And if we were to increase the speed uh, from that to 64, it would obviously do it a lot faster. Oh, I love that. I love create so much. Now there is this thing called a steam engine, which I actually have no idea how to set up. Um, fluid tax can be used to store large amounts of fluid. You can pump that fluid out. So that's, that's just these, but I think you can make, aha, see, we have steam whistles, steam engine. Oh, here's the engine. All right, let's see what this says then. Steam engines can be placed on a fluid tank. Okay, so that is a fluid tank and then we place it with a nozzle. All right, I want to, I want to test this. So we have a fluid tank, a fluid pipe maybe, and a steam engine. All right, if I do this experiment down here, if I just follow whatever that just did in the ponder thing, I assume I might have to hit it with a wrench. No, okay, this is not Aha, there we go. So if I just place the steam engine onto that, that is then how you do that. Okay, I thought, I didn't know that that was the actual steam engine. Oh, then you right click it with a shaft. Got it. Now what? Cleaning the engine with a shaft creates kinetic output, right? Okay, add campfires underneath it so it actually boils and add water to it. And that will then generate rotational force. The so minimal setup requires four fluid tanks, but you can actually make that larger. You can also use something that is better with the help of blaze burners the power can be increased. So, and those could be fueled with like a automatic wood farm. Higher power levels require more water size and heat. So you can pump in. Uh, okay, okay, I, th I think I'm getting it. I think I'm getting it. So if we just place campfires underneath and then we have some, we have the mechanical pump and we have some pipes and let's increase that in size and assume we just add a mechanical pump like this, change this to input, I suppose, and just, nope, that's the wrong block, add it over to the water, I suppose, makes sense, right? I don't know if it actually has to go underneath the water. I mean, it looks kind of cooler that way. Then we take a cog wheel and then we do that. And I think we can see from the particles that the water is actually entering and puddle collector. Don't know what that means. I wish we could see through this, but it doesn't actually have a window, but it looks like it's generating something here. Maybe this needs to be more. So let's increase that to 64. Oh yeah, there we go. And I suppose we could add another one of these. And then now we're taking water out, but there we go. Don't know if that actually does anything, but if we increase this from 64 to 128 speed RPM, that is not increasing that by much. So maybe 32 is enough. Let's try 32. Yeah, that seems to work. And then we can attach a shaft to this, to either side of this, just by using water and campfires. That is awesome. And we can change the rotational uh, direction as well. That's awesome. Now from that we are currently generating, uh, did my goggles, oh my goggles disappeared. That explains why I can't see details. Ah, there we go. Now I can see the details here. Boiler state is passive. Size is mediocre, I guess. Water is decent. Heat is all right. And stress capacity, 2048 stress units. Yep, that's a lot more than just making a water wheel or a windmill. <laughs> Oh, again, that's just a stress meter. The speed meter is slow at 16 RPM. I don't actually know. Oh yeah, if we wanted to actually increase the speed, I suppose it would be the blaze burners. So place those underneath. Uh, don't know if that's actually still going to do a little bit, but if we take some, let's take some wood, for example, let's just say, you know, uh, we have a nice handy wood farm dedicated for this. Jet what? How much? 16,384 SU and 64 RPM. Uh, it looks like it has more capacity. Now it goes down because these guys uh, ran out. That was quick. Uh, let's just add a bunch. Uh, 32 potential stress capacity, but we're only producing 16. I wonder if that is because we're not getting enough water in. Let's try and uh, increase this to 128. Don't know if that, yep, that should add a lot more water, but that is not uh, increasing the network stress like the SU. Maybe we can increase the size a bit, just like that. Increase 
increasing the water. Uh, now we have 65 SU capacity, still only producing 16. I wonder what is hindering this. Uh, I just connected two to the same thing. Uh, I don't know if that, I mean, it seems to be working. The stress meter just increased. <laughs> uh, does that mean I could potentially like, uh, I don't know if this is doable. Does it seem to be? Then what happens if I do this? Hold on. I believe there is a block where I can combine chain drive, I think. So the speedometer is 16. The stress meter is currently 2000. But as soon as these blazes get something better to do than sleeping, four goes up and we got the 65 SU. So we wouldn't be able to add another engine to this, but using these right here, it is basically connecting all of the rotational force out of those four into this one thing right here. And then of course, from there you can power all sorts of stuff like we could just increase this out a bunch uh add a couple of cog wheels in here every now and then uh if we wanted to like something like this and we could add different machines to it like the encased fan for example that is something that we could potentially power we could set up a mechanical mixer for example we could also set up a, a mechanical press all of which of course require rotational force so if we add that this is now running consuming 300 and 84. This would be running the mixer. Can I give it whole blocks? I don't know if that actually like lasts longer. Technically it should, right? I mean, we're currently running this, also running this, and then we could add this as well just by just by doing some gearboxes real quick just to make it easier. And so now, yeah, we're using like maybe a thousand uh, SU. If I disconnect this, we're currently at 64, 640. Remove this and we basically go up. So that's basically how you can power a lot of machinery and the speed is decent. Decent. Not bad. My final question is what is the cost of some of these things like the steam engine for example That's a cover block. That's actually not bad. That's actually pretty uh, Pretty manageable. This is pretty manageable. What else do we got? We got mechanical pump. We got the fluid pipe um, Obviously, we need something to run this uh, this amount of water here, which um, Which again if we just had some water wheels and did the trick with the with the cock wheels like we did up there adding multiple So it spins faster and faster. We should be able to obtain something like this eventually and yeah anything like it's cheap it's actually cheap nice so setting up one of these can definitely run a lot of that sort of stuff i love it not to mention we have a bunch of cool building blocks actually and a bunch of other items as well now there is one thing that i haven't actually done with create yet and that is trains i don't know how to do anything with trains but it is a big part of create and i do want to explore it so if i place some um, train track down if I go all the way over can connect boom just like that and if I place the train station down right click the time the train track first Ooh, okay so if I do this and then place it there I right click this create new train uh, use train casings on highlighted tracks to create something remove blah, 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 by breaking the plug on top build carriages attached to one another close window uh, okay train casing if I right eh? right click again to cycle type whoa okay now what um can i potentially can't Ooh, but i can build out of it though so say i wanted to okay how expensive are these these has to be expensive right sturdy sheet okay yeah that takes a little bit of uh of stuff but that's fine that's fine um right i'm pretty sure there's a seat somewhere train signal so apparently with the signal you can go ahead and control trains that are not uh driven by you directly so you can schedule and stuff that's awesome train controls that sounds like something that we definitely need yeah train controls okay so train controls and we also want i assume a seat uh let's go with light blue so if we add train controls here i guess and a blue seat let, let's uh let, let's add some structure to this let's add some structure to this um let's go with tinted no let's go with black stained glass just because i think it'll fit the the theme we're going with here uh something like like this very limited visibility i might add but you know what this is uh this is version one of the train we can even add a train door let's do that for sure oh the animation for that let, let me up let me up let me up please it's my train yeah i love it 
it. I love it. Okay. Uh, so what happens now? I've built everything. Everything is connected. So if I go ahead and assemble train, as I have to fail, attach at least one forward facing train controls block. Are you missing super glue? Ooh, that could be a thing. I suppose that's something that I should do. Uh, assemble a uh, name train. Uh, Tom. Hey, Tom, the train. Um, before we can even begin to take a ride, I definitely want to build some tracks that we can actually use. Maybe all the way down here. Too far away, of course. It is. Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe add a bend to it. Can we do that? Maybe that and then maybe maybe let's go up here. Right. This is our new thing. Uh, how is this? Right. This is an interesting slope, but I'll go with it. Right. Let's go for a ride in Tom the train. So this is now, I suppose, an empty. It works. Now controlling Tom. Stop controlling. OK. <laughs> we're driving. It looks stupid, but we're driving. Okay, I actually do need to hold it down in order to continue going. Oh, I love it. I love it. And it stops when I stop. Now can we go backwards? Oh, yeah. Wait, I have a hat on. I have a hat on. I actually have a hat on. Hi, I have a hat on. <laughs> Conductor. Okay, so we're not going as fast going backwards. So ideally making a loop is good. Boom. The carriage just reached the end of its track. Stop controlling. Ooh, I love it. So I assume it is calling it a contraption. So I assume it actually what? Hold up. I want to see if it is possible. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, looks like my tree farm might be broken. Okay, so if I go here, I really just want to see if I can. Okay. Yes, I can actually walk around it while it is driving. That's what I wanted to to see phone be quiet this is too awesome <laughs> I love this. I love this so much. So as this is a contraption, I assume you could add a bunch of other stuff to it, like the drills, the sauce, if you wanted to, the placers, maybe even a, a steam. I don't know if you can add a steam engine to it, but I mean, still, this is absolutely amazing. Like chests and stuff, you could transport items. That's actually one thing I didn't add to the actual tree farm. That would be this portable storage interface. With this, you should be able, if I've understood it correctly, to have an inventory like this, and then add this, and then to the other side, and then when they connect or pass each other, it will stop the machine like over there and it will connect and then it will take away items from the onboard inventory. And I assume, yeah, we're missing a block there to actually cut that off. That's fortunate. <laughs> but guys, I think I've learned enough. I, I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot through this, actually. I hope it has been entertaining and enjoyable. And maybe you learned something as well, watching me learn stuff as well. I, I don't know. But I definitely learned a lot about Create just by playing around with it. But definitely big thanks to the Jojo the Awesome for uh, the video that I watched. I'll link it down below in the description because he gave a very, very good understanding of the basics of Create. And he has a bunch of cool farms as well over there. So check it out. But yeah, I learned a lot uh, from watching that and from just playing around. And I'm, I am I want to play more with Create. More with Create coming soon for sure. So if you don't want to miss that, be sure to subscribe and enable those notifications. Also, join my Discord server. Link down below in the description. As opposed to get sent every time that I upload. But like I said, that's going to be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to leave a like again subscribe if you're new and uh i hope to see you in the next one have a wonderful day and until next time goodbye i i love this thing i love this steam it's, it's, it's animation cool it's cool but the train the train i want to do stuff with trains the cool thing is the stuff is not expensive it's not expensive it's it's affordable it, i i can afford this stuff it's easy it's easy okay maybe maybe this is a little bit expensive but it's fine popular obsidian oh dear crush yeah it's, it, it's fine it's affordable it's fun it's cool i love it see you next time have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. <laughs>